Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the weird world of ship scrapping. What is... what? I thought it just wasn't loading in, but no, we just have what looks to be the shell of a ship here. <laughs> the lockers are still... <laughs> Yes, give me stuff fake lockers. Where did that thing go? Oh my god. Okay, so I should mention this is my demo save. The game is fully released now and out of demo form. That might be why it's a little glitchy right now. But yeah, now that the game's fully released, there's a bunch of new tools we can get and whatnot. So I thought we would check it out again and uh, experience the weird world of ship breaking. Now I do need to go get a new order. I guess I do have a boat over there, but I checked that boat. It's pretty much scrapped. So let's go get a new one. Or wait, this is a quest. This is a quest, isn't it? It's been a while, guys. Bear with me here. I don't want to do a quest right now. Aha, yes, there's my computer. So I have this one, again, emptied. So we're going to dismiss that. I don't know what I should go for. I don't have great tools, but I definitely want some of these bigger ones. So I think I'm going to go for $700 a day. I'm going to take a risk here. I have money in the bank, so why not? And that will come to me tomorrow. So I guess today we can kind of just go around and check out what has changed since the demo i know there's new tools we can get oil mops that's exciting and also the shop upgrades are out now so that's the big thing i'm excited to see um what tier three has and i don't even have tier two as well so we can start working on that now i did collect a bit of scrap so i'm just gonna sell everything for right now and bam 957 bucks there should be some more around the beach here so let's just take the truck out and go for a little drive i guess Wait, wait, wait. I can hire workers now? $100 a day. His loot is titanium and petroleum, so I guess they'll just give me random loot. Well, that's cool. I didn't know I could have workers. Can I go through here? Doesn't look like it. Goddamn ghost walls taking my, my, my loot here. Can't let that happen. Goddamn right. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to upgrade some of these basic items. Unfortunately, obviously, on the beach, there's nothing of interest, so we're going to get some unalloyed steel. Start cooking up that. Oh, that's right. I have storage over here. I forgot. I already have some unalloyed steel, but that's okay. All right. So I still need some cast steel. I don't have any ordinary steel though. So uh, we're not going to get that. I need unalloyed steel a little bit more. And I need brass, which I don't have any aluminum for that either. That's to get that upgrade. So I guess that'll be our goal tomorrow. Now I do need to get rid of my inventory though. This is all crap anyways. I mean, it's still worth a good amount of money too. 484 bucks right there. There we go. That pretty much paid for the next day of scrapping. And I guess I'll just go to bed. Uh, and I think we get our new ship in the morning. And yes, there it is. The SGS shipping line. More like the scrapping line now. This is... A, okay, maybe, maybe I bought too big of a ship. I hope I have the tools needed to do this. What the truck? Stop riding the whip. I'm trying to drive you. What What happened? Did you break, break or something? I kind of need you for inventory. My God, this is much bigger than the other ship. I might have went to... Uh, too big of one? All right, these people put too much trust in me. Hopefully, there's lots of money here, though. Because I am going to need it. I'm actually going to look for the good stuff first. Yes, yeah, steel and aluminum, exactly what I need. Give me all the delicious materials. Thank you. Ah, there's the oil spills that we need the mop for. I don't really use oil much yet, so I'm not worried about it. But I think it was only 300 bucks, so we'll probably buy that. Hopefully, by the end of today. Oh, I need the angle grinder finally. Yay! I get to use my tool. Does it matter where I cut? I don't think it matters with this piece. Actually, it does. Oh, God. Okay, well... I might have lost a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, this is cool, though. I actually get to uh, take stuff off of the ship because basically I'm just breaking things that are on the ship right now. This is actually great because um, still too, too al aluminum there. But yeah, this is great because I'm actually, you know, kind of taking pieces off the ship. I don't think I'm going to get the rest of that aluminum. I don't care enough to try and get every little piece. But now we know. Go right for the end here and we should get all the materials this time. Assuming I can reach the top. Almost. There we go. That should be way more. Last time I only got two aluminum. This time I got all four. What 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 are these gonna get? More aluminum. All aluminum. Holy. And steel and aluminum is, is what I need, basically. So I am not complaining. So I guess we'll do these while we're here. And this will probably fill my inventory once I'm done all these. Actually, I don't think my saw is gonna make it here. It's getting low. I don't know if that's power or if it's durability. I believe it's durability. Again, it's been a while since I last played this, but I think we'll go back to the hammer. Try and fill up this inventory now. We should have quite a bit here anyways. All right, there we go. So pretty much a full inventory of blues. And we haven't even gotten in the ship yet. We're just on the deck. Ooh, electric box. What do I need? Oh, I can use the hammer for this? Great. 
There we go. So we got some lead. I believe I needed lead. I could be wrong on that. But hey, it's good to have in the inventory. Uh, should we go inside? Yeah, let's go inside. This is where we might get some electric boxes and whatnot. We got alcohols here. Oh my god, there's a lot of rooms in here. Can I do anything with the wiring? Look at all the freaking wiring. <gasps> Ooh, titanium. I don't have a blowtorch right now. I, oh, I, I need a tier three blowtorch. Okay, so this boat is too big for me or too good for me. Some of my tools are not going to be strong enough. Ooh, that's fun. There we go. I got it open. What's in here? We have this. Oh, it's only a tier one? I only have a tier one uh, torch. Well, that sucks. Again, kind of need better upgrades. This actually, was this tier three? I don't even have a tier three hammer. I'm so sad right now. We we, we came to this boat too, too early. It's blocked. Oh, how do I get in there? That's cool. Ooh, exhaust. Yes, please. That was a really good one. No more space in inventory. I guess that's a good problem to have. I, I'm really shocked I don't have the tier three hammer yet. I, I thought I did. Anyways, we got to the cockpit finally with no inventory space. I thought there'd be a chest in here or something. There is this. I mean, there's some steel there. I can't pick it up, though. Chest intermediate. Oh, there we go. That was a very easy chest. I didn't have to move it at all. Didn't really give me much, though. But yeah, we have a full inventory of blues, so this should be a good payday. And we still need to refine some materials to get that tier 2 upgrade. All right, so I'm just going to store everything I need to refine to get those upgrades, and I'm going to sell everything else. I don't think I'm going to need any more steel than that. And yeah, I think we're pretty good with this. So this is all just going to be sold because I don't have the inventory space to hold anything. Let's see how much I made. There we go. So $700 today, and I even without having all the tools that I need, I still got $1,400, and I can go out once again, which I probably will because I need basic materials now. Oh, yeah, that's right. My truck has all inventory as well, and I don't need any of this, so we're just going to sell it once again. Yeah, there's $1,900 right there as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick junk run, pretty much anything that I skipped over, uh, just because I need basic items right now to refine some of the purple items. And then we'll probably just get rid of this ship just because uh, I don't have the tools to get some of the higher tiered stuff, so we may as well not pay for another rental day i'd rather just get a new ship again okay so steel is done next up we need brass what does brass take i believe it was yeah aluminum and copper i didn't actually get much aluminum or copper so that's a bit of a bummer um i might actually have to go out and find that oh actually i have aluminum in here i just need a little bit of copper well this is when you go easter egg hunting looking for is that that's oil ah that's what i need right there there's the good stuff all right, so brass heats at 500. Make sure we do that right. Last thing I want to do is ruin this because this is hard to find for whatever reason. So this should be five, I think. Do we get five out? Yes, we do. Perfect. I need one more. And there it is. Okay, so that's the brass done. Now all I need is cast steel. I believe that's this. And that's an easy one. We have lots of those resources. So perfect. And that heats at 1500. Okay, I think I only need five of these. So we should get it done right here. And then I just need enough money to buy this. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, that was actually difficult, though, for sure. And bam, just like that, we're living large now. I can get a concrete saw or a petrol saw, I guess, in this. Um, looks like I can upgrade all my other things. A blowpipe. What the hell is a blowpipe? Isn't that just a giant torch? I don't know the definition of things. I definitely want to get the titanium hammer. You know what? I'm going to buy that right now. I love me a good hammer. Explosives? Yes, please. We're going to buy... Oh, I don't have enough money. Well, that's okay because I have a lot to sell right now. Actually, before I sell, I believe I can buy this as well. What does this cost? 800 Okay, that's chump change. We'll, we'll deal with that later. That's what I, where I can hire people. Right now, I just want to upgrade myself first. So we'll focus more on that. I'm just going to sell the rest of this though. And yeah, we're going to dismiss this boat so we don't have to spend $700 a day again. I think I'm going to go to the medium boat. Actually, you know what? Now that I have uh, the tier three hammer, I think it makes sense to actually go to this one. Why does it say none though? Because we were already there and we saw that there was some oranges. I'm just going to book it again. It seems to be a good choice and I hopefully can get the upgrades by tomorrow to uh, get everything that we need there. I am going to buy the mop just because it's cheap and uh, we should be able to pick up some oil with that at least. And now I have at least, I think, all tier one. Well, I don't have all tier one tools because there's two lock slots still. All right, but good night. We are going to go to sleep. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll have another replica ship probably. Yeah, the exact same ship. This time I should be able to at least do some of the uh, hammer locations. Oh yeah, look at my new hammer. Let's test out this. It's got a good hit on it. Three hits for a blue. Let's try the big hit. Oh yeah, we just, we just hit that in one swing. Okay, yeah, I like this hammer. 
So looking at the progression, there is a long ways to go. There is boats that are way bigger than what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I'm currently level 16. So just kind of showing where this game goes. Now we should probably get some skills. We have, yeah, 14 skill points. I've kind of slowed down a little bit. I'm going to get some more car slots. You know what? Hammer is by far the most useful tool. So I'm just going to pretty much max this thing out, I think. And there we go. I actually did do that. Um, I don't really use the other tools too much. I guess torches are pretty great. The thing is, these upgrades actually affect things besides the tools as well. So it's kind of useful to get like equipment and car slots just because I'm constantly running back and forth. So I think I will do more of that. I didn't even notice I have lock picking as well. I guess I should have did that, but that's okay. And management. Well, God damn it. I didn't know I could do that. All right. Well, there's a lot more in this game than I expected. <gasps> Ooh, I can finally break a wall. Oh, what's in this room? It's got to be rare stuff. Let me in. Things are in the way. Oh yeah, we got a pipe. Unfortunately, I need the tier three uh, grinder for that. Uh, I need the grinder for everything. Of course, I buy the tool that I think was going to be useful and it's really not. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the one I really wanted was the exhaust. I get a little bit of titanium with this. Come on, you can do it. Ah, uh, there we go. Both of them. Uh, okay, that felt good. Now, did we ever go to the top? I think we stopped at the cockpit. Not probably not much up here, but more exhaust. Yes. Leave the yeah. I haven't been into the basement. You know what? Oh, what's actually locked. There might be some good stuff back here. Oh, wow. Indeed. Is this the engine room? Can I take apart the engine? Oh, that's lame. Oh, I can. Ha ha. It's every little piece of the engine. Oh my God. This is huge. All right, I'm getting a crap load of levels. I have no more inventory space, so I should maybe come back. It's a good thing I decided to come down here, though. This is where the true goods are. Oh my god, I still have no space. I actually went to drop off a bunch, and I'm still full. I mean, good problem to have, of being full of pretty much oranges. So yeah, I guess we'll get out of here, but I'll definitely keep the ship for another day. There's more in this ship than I expected. Of course, I have every chemical but the one I need. I need kerosene right now. That's made with oil. Because I want to unlock this. Basically, I want to get employees. So we need to go get a crap load of oil. I guess I did buy that mop, so it kind of makes sense. Let's just sell the majority of this. Because I just need the space, and I, I don't have any storage right now. Oh, yeah, there's the good stuff. Let's try out this mop, too, just to see <laughs> what the difference is. Oh, I actually do have to clean it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I have to hold it. I think I understand what I'm doing. Oh, my God. This takes forever. Just... Just destroy the barrels. I guess it is a great way to get a lot of oil, though, because I get, uh, well, I get four more, and I've already earned, like, six. So, yeah, I think that's enough oil for right now. All right, but out pops the kerosene. Give me all that good stuff. And all the other materials are going to be very easy to get for this. And yes, indeed, a quick wander around, and we have enough to buy this thing. So there we go. We're going to buy that. Only got a tier one, but hey, it's better than nothing. And now I have an actual empire. You can find workers in the village. Everyone is experienced in collecting different materials. Workers store collected materials in a chest nearby the barracks every day, and I can upgrade. You can also expand the barracks to hire more workers. Okay, so I really wanted this to get the basic items because I don't really focus on them anymore. And I saw that this guy, oh, he actually changed. He was getting copper and steel before, which is perfect. That's okay. I'll hire you anyways. I guess I could use some oil. So yeah, basically any easy resources, I just want them to do because I hate going out looking for them. It's not hard. It's just a lot of wasted time. Was this the guy that did copper? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll hire you as well. Let's upgrade to the tier three saw. We're using a lot of that. I guess we'll get the blowpipe as well, being that I can afford it. And of course, we're getting explosives. Oh, I forgot. Not enough money to renew booking. Well, I guess we're not earning much money today. What, what do I do? Oh, God. I have employees I got to pay now. I do have a storage, but there's not much. Well, you know what? You got to spend money to earn money. I'm just going to invest all my stored resources because I'm dumb. That will give me at least a little bit of money. I actually want to go for some of the bigger boats, so I might just go out and see if I can get enough money to uh, do that. You can also test out these new tools. Not as fast as I thought. It also sounds like a chainsaw. All right, and this one is the biggest one we've seen yet. I only had mediums before. This one, what is in the middle of that? Is that like liquid storage or something? I don't even know. All right, well, good start. I'm seeing all blues everywhere. Fantastic. How do I, can I destroy these? That would be amazing. I doubt it. Nope. 
Um, I don't even know what I need right now, if I'm honest. So I'm just gonna look for oranges and blues and just start looting. Because, you know, worst case, I'll just sell a crap load of stuff. Ooh, chemicals tank. That's exciting. Also, I definitely want to use some explosives today. So hopefully we can get that done. I'm gonna do it in a... Actually, let's do it right here. This is, these are too hard to do items. Not really, actually, but I don't care. So do I just... Oh, I may, maybe it only works on one. Oh my god, it's got a cell phone on it. Are you serious? Oh god, yes! Oh, that was actually fantastic. I got almost no loot out of that, but I'm okay. Oh man, there's a lot here. What are these? Chromium? Don't mind if I do. Let's get you some use out of this thing. All right, I feel like this is where I should use my explosives. Doing two of these extremely long cuts. Not fun for just four items. Ah, there we go, though. That's my first chromium. All right, so we're just gonna <laughs> do this instead. You're in range of explosion. What does that mean? Do I die? <laughs> I passed out. Wait, how the hell do I get a zip line? I didn't even notice that till now. That must be in tier three. That's interesting. Anyways, I'm trying to get more bag space right now because I'm too lazy to leave. So I'm just spending points on anything that I possibly can to get more bag space. Because I got a few, just a few stainless steel in here, as you can see. How's my employees doing? Ah, uh, they seem to actually be doing pretty good. Now, I don't really need all stainless steel. If I did want to work on the new upgrade, I probably do need stainless steel. No, I need cast iron. I only need purples. Why am I going for oranges if I only need purples? So the only benefit is the pricing. Mind you, a lot of the um, purple stuff is expensive as well. So I think it just means if it's purple, it's it's made by me via this smelter. And I guess you actually do need some oranges to uh, get to some of the purples. All right, guys, but I think you guys get the idea. I'm really not struggling at all in this game. It is an interesting game, but it gets extremely repetitive. I'm not going to lie. Some of the upgrades are cool. I really like the smelter, for example. It's a really smart way to do it, but I don't really have any more goals. Don't get me wrong. I still need to do the shop upgrade, but I believe that just unlocks the zip line most likely and maybe one more tier for every weapon, which is a lot of the same stuff. It's an interesting game, but I think this is enough for me. And if you guys do want to see more of it, let me know in the comments below we might work on trying to get my barracks up better because we only just started doing that uh that might be fun to try and build a whole employee empire but yeah i think we got enough simulation games on the channel right now i know a lot of you guys wanted to see the full release of this game though so i thought i would do one episode and there you go i hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one